all right what's up everybody welcome back it's your boy chris thanks for watching another episode of southern lifetimes so today i'm in portland arkansas i'm at lake wilson i got a trot line out i'm about to put the boat in the water go check the line and see if we got any fish so hopefully i can show y'all something man y'all stay tuned let's see what happens all right i'm coming up to my trot line I just seen a little action on the other end of my line. I need I may need to check it first. I just seen the other end of that line pool. So I'm gonna go to that end first. Yep, something is definitely on this end. I see it pulling. Hopefully it's not a turtle or a gone. Because that's the type of stuff we don't want. We got a pretty good blue, y'all. There we go. There we go. That's a good blue. I'm gonna go ahead and this what I like about these clips. You can just unclip that line from there. That's a good fish. He was hooked good. Old eyeball budging out. That hook got him good. lay him in the boat I'm gonna go ahead and get him off of there and get him in the cooler that's a good size fish that might be a six seven pound fish I'll take that folks. I will take that. I will definitely take that. Alright, let's get the hook out. Yeah, he got hooked good. There we go. That's a good eating size fish. I'll take that. I will take that, people. I will take that any day. They be the only one we have. type of fish we don't want. That's what that is. fish I'm gonna get off of there so next time I put it out I'm probably going to try a different lake already got another spot in mind all right so like I said I took probably half of the lines off there I rebated the rest and I'll come back this evening and check it again. Got one catfish, one blue cat. Decent sized fish, so hey, it is what it is. You're not gonna just catch bukus of fish every time. You gotta take what you can get sometimes, and sometimes you just gotta, you know, be grateful that you were able to get out here and do this, so. 
Yep, that's how the cookie, cookie crumbles sometimes. But I'm gonna get ready to head back to the ramp, load the boat up. I'm gonna come back this evening, so y'all stay tuned for part two. Yeah, I didn't have anything on her. All the bait was missing, so this wasn't really a successful trot line trip. But uh, that catfish I caught this morning, I got it on ice. I'm gonna go home and clean it. And then I'm gonna cook it. So y'all stay tuned for the rest. All right, all right. So I'm back from my trot line adventure. It wasn't a good trip, but I got one nice size blue cat. So all I like to do is, he got a little slimy because he's been on ice. All I like to do is cut a circle around the head. Well, no, I cut under this fin first. All right. And I just cut a circle around the head. Sometimes they've been on ice a while, they'll get a little slimy. All right. Then I make a cut straight down the back. We got the skinners so what i like to do some people pull from here back i like to go from the top that way you're not gonna tear off much meat with it either i mean i'm gonna fillet this fish but i know some people are gonna be like well could have just took the knife and filleted it off. And then filleted it straight off from the skin. I do that sometimes, but I want to make sure this one is going to be nice and pretty. See how we can go from top to bottom, it comes off so clean. Sorry about that. I had to give me a, a better knife. <laughs> you gotta get too close, baby. Just go down this spine. Keep the knife next to that spine. Boom. Go 
ahead and cut the ribs out so we can make it boneless. keep that though now we got a boneless fillet other side real quick I'm gonna stick up some of this bone. You see this? There's still a lot of meat on there, so I don't like to waste meat. Cut that little strip off right there. That little strip right there, right across the very top of the back, is kind of fatty. Yeah, I know it looks, for the people who aren't used to cleaning fish, it probably looks all bloody and all that, but once you go in here and wash it up, it's gonna be nice and pretty. Make sure you get all that out of there, up under the spine. That's it. So I'm gonna go in here and wash up, take me a quick shower, and then y'all stay tuned. I'm gonna cook this fish. All right, what's up everybody? Welcome to the cooking part of this video. So I got my catfish up here. Like I said, I only caught one on this trip. I put the trot line out, ended up with one, but it was a nice size one. This is just part of one of the fillets from it. So you saw me clean the fish. Now, I, I washed it, I took a shower, so you see how pretty it looks once you wash it up and all that stuff. I got some onion cut up. Um, I got my seasonings. This is called the blend. Buttery steakhouse, lemon pepper. I got the, uh, maybe how you say that? Tuscan sun. Tuscan, I don't know why I'm thinking too, I'm thinking like I'm in Arizona somewhere too soon. <laughs> we got the parsley flakes. And this is just some rice in the bag you can buy anywhere. I'm going to cook that. And uh, we're going to lay the fish on top of that. So, I'm going to season the fish. I'm going to start out with the blend. You don't have to go real heavy on fish. I like to go a little light of each one. Everybody likes that one, that buttery steakhouse. Turn my fire down. 
lemon pepper, Tuscan, we got our parsley. You know, everybody everybody use parsley just for a little decoration. That's all that's for. We're gonna flip it over. Y'all probably thought I was gonna fry this, huh? Gotcha, we doing blackened catfish, pan fried, or whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna switch it up today. Okay, lemon pepper. parsley and that's it now at the same time I'm cooking this fish in the pan I'm gonna have the onions in there going too so I'm gonna put it on the inside part of the fillet first I want to show y'all how I eat black and catfish. Come back up some. Almost every time I'm frying food or pan frying it, whether I'm pan frying it or frying it in grease, I use some onion. So even when I deep fry fish, every batch I cut up some onion and throw in the grease with the fish. We believe it adds more flavor. Oh my goodness, look at that people. Look at that. Doesn't that look wonderful? Oh my goodness. I'm glad I got a woman that can cook, but shouts out to my mama. She taught me how to cook. So I wouldn't necessarily have to depend on a woman to cook for me. And I appreciate y'all y'all for liking the photo that I shared on YouTube. Me and my fiance, she's my fiance now, not just my girlfriend. We went to the Smoky Mountains and I proposed to her, to her on top of the mountains and we had a good time. So for any of you couples out there, I recommend y'all taking a vacation to the Smoky Mountains. We stayed in Gatlinburg, Tennessee in a cabin and we done a lot of exploring. It was, it was awesome. She wanted to go to Broken Bow. I said, no, nah, baby. You know, I used to work in Broken Bow a lot. I, it just doesn't impress me. I said, baby, we going to Smoking now. And she liked it. She could tell it was definitely going to, it was, it was better than what Broken Bow would have been. Yeah. All right, my water coming to a boil over here. I have my rice, this is just the rice in the packet, herb and butter. Give that a little stir, let it come back to a little boil. Then I put it on a simmer. You don't know what simmer means, basically you cut it down way low, cover it up with the top and let it go. Look at that people, that looks spectacular. Oh man. Mmm. Look at this. Now fish doesn't take long 
Now, if you want to use a thermometer, I would recommend cooking it to a temperature of about 145. You're good to go. All right. Bring that to a simmer. We'll put it on two. Cover it up. Let me look at my time. We'll let that simmer about seven minutes. Yeah, I decided to do this for... Uh, I've been getting quite a few comments about a catch, clean and cook video. I think most of them really want to see me do it with the with the brim, but which I am going to do. But today was a good day to just go ahead and do it with this catfish. So, and that's also why they fried. So I said, uh, I'm going to give them something out of the ordinary. So we got pan fried catfish or blackened catfish, whatever you want to call it. And it's going to be awesome. We got our onions caramelizing. They're doing their thing. Let me know in the comment section if y'all want to see more videos of me like some of the my cooking recipes and stuff. And uh, it'll be like outdoor type stuff. Like the fish I catch, maybe even a... Uh, deer stuff like that you know I didn't do a lot of hunting videos last year I was just getting just starting it I did maybe three but this year I'm going to do a lot more hunting videos too but uh if it come when it comes to like fish uh deer um and let's say any type of barbecue because barbecuing is an outdoor thing and I do a lot of barbecuing so if you want to if you would like to see some of that let me know in the comments and I definitely plan on doing some stuff like that. Alright, we're going to flip this again. Oh yeah, we're getting that good color now. That's about where I want it. You got to be careful with fish. You don't want to overcook it. It'll get a little dry on you. That's about where I want it. What you think, baby? If you don't stop flattening that fish. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it looks good. If I don't what? <laughs> stop flattening with the spatula. Stop that. Oh, I'm just, you know, you want to. That wasn't a pat. That was a flat. When you press down on it like that a little bit, it helps the heat get on inside the fish. And push the juice it out. Okay, you might be right. <laughs> push the juice it out. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the heat off. Now we're just waiting on the rice. We're gonna set the rice on the plate first, spread it a little bit, then set the fish on top of it, set the onions on top of the fish, and then I'm gonna show you what else I like on top of mine. This will probably freak some of y'all out. I eat cheese on a little bit of everything. We got some mozzarella here, a little bit left. Especially when I do like a steak. I don't eat sauce on my steak, I do toppings. I always put some type of white cheese like mozzarella or Swiss, I prefer mozzarella. It gets more creamy when it melts. I put that on my steak while it's still on the grill, let it heat up, melt that cheese. Then I add my onions and usually mushrooms too. I don't have any mushrooms today. If I did, I would add those too. Which piece you want, baby? Uh, the flatter piece. The flatter piece? Okay. Uh, but you know mm -hmm. the cheese on mine. I know you don't want cheese. I like a little cheese on mine. And that's going to melt on there. Just a little bit. Oh, yeah. And when I put the onions on top of there, that's really going to get it right. I know some of y'all are like, what the hell? What? Mm -hmm. Cheese on fish? Oh, <laughs> We learn something new every day. I heard a wise man say, just when I thought I knew it all, something else would come up.
Oh yeah, you see what I'm talking about, people? And those, those onions are gonna help melt that cheese. And all that is gonna get all creamy and gooey on there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I should have put more cheese on. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my goodness. Mmm. My onions fall now. You want onions on yours too, babe? Yeah. Okay. But I won't mind it cook a little longer. You want it to cook a little longer? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that's what they do. And you still want that to cook longer? Mm -hmm. I like mine a little bit past. Oh, okay. I got, yeah. You're one of those people. <laughs> what does that mean? So she doesn't eat steak, but if she ate steak, she'd be a well done person. Rude. That's a big no no. <laughs> no. I used to do that too before I learned about the steak game. Somebody told me, try it well, try it medium well. I said, okay. I tried it medium well. The first time I tried it, that was the best steak I had ever had at that point in time. And I kept trying it like that. Then I finally went to medium. So now I prefer medium. Okay. Let me get a little more. Alrighty. Look at that, people. Boom. Oh my goodness. Look at that. What you think, babe? You did all right. <laughs> well, then wait till you taste it. You're going to be like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Baby, I love you. That's good. You sure? I'm sure. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You eat like a bird. I forgot about that. Look at that. I think my ass looks better. Because <laughs> ass cheese? Yes. Oh yes, that looks marvelous, people. Look at that. That looks amazing. Now I have to do a taste test, but before I do that, beer. Niccolo. <laughs> it's my favorite. Goodness. Let me grab me a fork so I can do a taste test. Alright, let me give me a sip. Woo! Alright, people. Let's see how good I did. This is going to be honest. If there's anything I don't like about it or what I should have did better, I'm going to let you know. Let's see. And I'm going to get some rice in there. Let me get a piece of onion on there. I want all the goodness in one bite. Let's see. O. M. G. Golly. Mmm. Woo. I got to get some more of that. Mmm. 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 Golly, that's so good. Now I will tell you this. When you cook fish this type of way, pan sear it, grill it, or bake it, it will be a tad bit more fishier than frying it. 
Now, if you're a real fish lover, then you love that, like me. Some people that aren't as into fish, they might not prefer it. I think they'll still eat it, but maybe like the fried version better. But me, this is awesome. Or you can just, like hers may not taste as fishy as mine because hers cooked longer than mine. But to me, that's why I compared it to the steak. You know, this would, for me, this would be medium well. Hers is well done. But her cut of meat is also thinner than mine. But it's awesome, y'all. It's awesome. So I'm glad I got to do this for y'all. My first catch, clean, and cook video. And it turned out great, I believe. The fish is awesome. I appreciate y'all for watching. Let me know any thoughts in the comments. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Peace.